Hi students, I will show you how to use vocabulary activities in Burlington English. After you log in, you will see all of these different boxes. So to find vocabulary activities, go to courses, courses. Then you should choose um, the course that you are using in your class. And then you'll see these different options. Choose vocabulary practice. Vocabulary practice. And then on the left, you will see um, your course and all of the different uh, lessons. So there are many lessons. And if you click on the title of the module, you will get all of these words um, from these lessons, or you can click on one lesson. I will go to module number four about money, money matters, and number one, listen and speak, going shopping. But you can choose whatever you are studying in class. And now I can see many different words and I can practice these words um, in many different ways. So I will look at how to use the vocabulary activities. If I look in my screen on the very far right, um, there is a circle and it's like an orange brown circle. So this circle will show you the activities. And when I click this one, I will practice these words, all of these words. Now this shows me all of the activities that I can do. Let's look at the first one, memory one. At the top, it tells me the instructions. Listen to the English word then match it to the correct word or phrase. So I'll choose any of these on the left. Ice cream. And I can click this again. Ice cream. Ice cream. And then I can just guess any card on this side. So those two, they were not the same. So I found ice cream, ice cream on this side. And then I would continue bread, bread, bread. Bread. So I can keep practicing. And then at the bottom, 
there are two um, symbols. This one means I can try again. So if I want to do it again, I can try again. Or there is the X symbol. So this one is important. If I don't like this activity or I'm ready to do something else, <clears throat> I should press the X. Um, you do not want to press the arrow or the arrow up here. You do not want to press the arrow unless you are finished with all of the activities. You don't want to do more activities. The arrow goes all the way back to the courses. And um, I will press the X. Now I can see the activities again. So always press the X. Let's look at another activity. Um, let's look at, let's say spelling. For spelling, it says, listen to the word, then type it. Price. 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 So I will type the word price. And if I, I need to hear it again, I just press the triangle. Price. 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 And I can continue to do all of the other words. Potato. 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 And then when I finish, um, I can press check. So for this, I only did two, but let's press check. Um, it says, you did not answer all the questions. Are you sure you want to check? Yes, okay, okay. And this will show me, oh, these two are correct. These ones are not correct. And at the bottom left, I can see my score. And if I want to fix it, I can press correct yourself. And then I can go back to try again with these ones. Milk. 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 So I can finish and check again. And I would press OK. And now I am i don't want to do the activity anymore. I'm finished. Um, I should press X. Do not, do not press the back arrow in Burlington or the browser you should press X. Okay, and then there are many more activities. Um, let's look at word search. So for this one, um, I'm going to listen and then find the word here. So let's try number one. Need. 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 
need. So need. Then I need to look at all of the letters to try to find need. If I can't find it, I can go to the next one. Banana. 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 Um, and so some words like banana are going down and some are going across like need. So if I find the word, I need to click and drag, click and drag. And then I need to move the word to the box. So need goes here. Need. And number two was? Banana. Banana. So I have to drag the word over to the box. Banana. And when, when you finish all of them, then you can click check. And I would press OK. And I can see, OK, the first two, they are correct. If I need to try again, I can click correct yourself and try again. And so after I'm finished with the activity, I would click X to exit. And that takes me back to all the activities. So um, I'll show you one more from these activities. This one, you need to match the, to the, the sound to the word. So let's listen to number one. I click the play. Potato. 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 So where is potato? Okay, it's all the way down here. What do I do? I need to move the number. Potato. Potato is number one. So I click and drag all the way to potato. Let's look again. Need. 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 I look and find there's need. It's number two. I click and then I can drag to need. So, and then I can click check to see if it's correct. And if I have any problems, I can correct, correct yourself then I can try the ones that I missed again. Now I will click X. So those are some of the activities. And now we're going to look um, where to 
find this on your phone. And now I'm on my phone and to find the vocabulary activities, it's the same way. Go to courses. So here it is on the, um, on the phone and then choose your course. And now I want to choose vocabulary practice. And then I can choose um, which lesson. So I'm going to number four, money matters. Number one, listen and speak, going shopping. And if I need, if I would like to practice the activities, I need to find this um, orange brown circle on the bottom right. So here's the circle. And when I click that, I will see the activities at the bottom. On the phone, there are not as many activities. So for um, many of the lessons, there's just two activities. So if you would like to practice more activities, you can find it on the computer. But these two activities are very good. So let's look at them. Match the sound. This says, choose the word or phrase that matches the sound. Milk. Milk. So milk. Then I look, which word is milk? Milk. And to go to the next question, on my phone, I go down to the arrows. And here's question number two. Bread. Bread. So we look, there's bread. And I can continue by clicking the arrows at the bottom of the screen, which are right here. And um, when I'm finished, I can look at my score. How many did I get correct? And also I can um, restart by clicking this one. And then to go back to the activities, I should press X. Okay. And I have one more activity. Fill in the blank. So I have um, blank 
is a fruit. So what is a fruit? A banana, meat, milk, or an onion? Let's try a banana. That's correct. A banana is a fruit. To go to the next one, I go down to the bottom and click the arrow. I like to eat with cake. Prices, ads, ice cream, or baths. I like to eat ice cream with cake. Okay, so now we're finished and we can press X to go back to the activities. And I can look at my word list. So here's X. And if I want to study some of the words, but not all of the words, I can click the stars and choose which ones I want to study in the activities. So, Maybe I can look which ones are difficult for me. So I will select some berries, cheese, fresh ice cream. Oops. And maybe supermarket vegetables. So I chose some with the star. Now I will click this personal words only, which is at the top of the word list. And if I click the star, I can see um, the words that I think are difficult or the words that I want to study more. Um, and if I choose the activities down here, I will only study these words. If I choose the activities, I will only study these words. Vegetables. So now I have six questions and they are only about the words that I chose. So that's my personal word list. Personal word list. And to get this, I choose the words um, with a star. And when I choose them, those are a part of my personal words only list. If I want to change them or go back to all the words, I can just click this star at the top again. And now I can see all of them. And if I change this, I don't want banana on the list. I can click that one and change the list. So, that is the activities for vocabulary in Burlington English. Thanks for watching.